Cross-Site Request Forgery, or XSRF, is a type of attack where an attacker tricks a user into visiting a specific web page that often looks like a trusted application page. For example, if a user is logged into our application in a web browser, there is already a trust relationship in place between the browser and the application. If that user, while logged in, is somehow tricked into clicking a malicious link, coming from an email for instance, and that link opens in a new tab to a malicious site in the browser, that malicious site may be able to send targeted requests to our application server with the intent of performing some dangerous operation, like changing passwords or transferring money, for example. Now, because a user is logged in, when the attacking request is sent to the app server, the browser also sends along cookies associated with our app site, one of which will now be an authentication cookie, making the request seem legitimate to the server if it's not prepared to deal with this kind of attack. Cross-site request forgery is mainly a threat to be detected and thwarted from the server side of things by making sure that servers can detect when requests are coming from the application or when they're being sent by other parties. One way to do this is by having the app server generate and send the dynamic value in another cookie where that value is a random token. Typically, this token is going to be called an XSRF token cookie. The client side app should look for this value, and when it sees it, it should take it, read it, and use it to create a custom request header that it can then send in any other requests back to the server. Typically, this header is going to be called X XSRF token. The way web browsers work is that browsers will not allow any other site to read or set cookies related to a specific site. So while an attacking site may be able to benefit from having already trusted cookies sent along with its malicious requests, that same site will not be able to see the dynamic token coming from the server, and it will also not be able to send it back to the server, meaning that the server, in addition to being able to use the original authentication cookie, is also able to check for the token in the header when verifying that requests are coming from the client side app and not elsewhere. Now, Angular alone is a client side app, so it cannot protect against XSRF by itself, but nevertheless, it does have some built in strategies to automatically handle the client side of things. Whenever an HTTP request is sent from the app, Angular first looks for the XSRF token, and if it's found, it automatically sets the x-xsrf token header for us on the outgoing request, allowing the server to have all the information it needs to properly determine whether the request is genuine and should be trusted or is an attack that should be ignored.